Hi, it's uh, David Limbrick and Tim Quilty uh, reporting on our last day in uh, Parliament in exile. Um, as you'll be aware, um, the government has uh, suspended us from Parliament because we refused to hand over our uh, vaccination uh, status. And, you know, although we've said that we're vaccinated, we refuse to hand over our status because of a matter of principle. We've made this stance in support of the hundreds of thousands of Victorians who've been impacted by these vaccine mandates. Yeah, these mandates are a breach of uh, consent. This is what we've spoken about all along. The idea that people who are, who take, who, who have medical procedures such as vaccines, it should be a matter of between them and their doctor. The government shouldn't apply pressure through losing their job, through uh, being able to participate in society, or even in our case, being able to be a member of parliament. It's all about personal choice. That's right. But, um, what we saw yesterday in Parliament, I tried to put up a, a motion to reopen an inquiry into a committee that I'm a member of. The committee is called the Parliamentary Accounts and Estimates Committee. This inquiry would have uh, allowed us to re-examine some of the things that have happened since February when the last report from that inquiry got up. Um, and things like uh, that have happened since February, uh, vaccine mandates, vaccine passports, uh, some of the ways that the protesters in Victoria have been treated by the government. As we saw yesterday, the government took advantage of us being out of the parliament to uh, defeat our motion. Um, and it's clear that's why it kicked us out and that's what they're gonna keep doing. Yeah, the motion was tied, 16-16. Uh, um, the harsh reality is that because we weren't in parliament, the inquiry didn't get up. So um, taking that on board, along with um, you know, the thousands of people who've contacted us, and I'd like to thank everyone that's contacted Tim and I, to urge us to go back to Parliament because we know that there's a big battle coming up with the pandemic legislation. Um, we wanna go back in to fight on your behalf. So our Parliament in exile is over. We will be back in Parliament next time we sit and we're gonna do our very best to defeat this uh, yeah. terrible, terrible bill the government are pushing through. Yeah. So. Uh, I'm also in the situation where in order to prepare for this battle, I need an office space. I currently don't have an office. My office in Cheltenham was uh, attacked by a vandal. It's currently totally unusable. Um, Parliament's provided me another office that unless I hand over my papers, I won't be able to get in. I can't get into Parliament itself. Um, so that's why we're in a nightclub in the Chase Lounge at the moment. That's what we've been doing the last three days. But. Um, in order for us to prepare properly, although Chase Lounge is a wonderful venue that um, we've really enjoyed working in, um, we actually need a proper office that we can conduct our battles from. That's why we're gonna hand over our papers, but we've stood in defiance of the government. We, we, we've made our point, but we have to go back into battle. We're not gonna give up, but we're gonna fight Dan Andrews and his uh, extraordinarily terrible legisl legislation. Um, we'll do our best to stop it. Yeah, so we've listened to you, we've listened to what you've told us, we're going to go back into fight. Thank you.